right, look at this. I love that it's like the lady stone. It's just kind of like in a hug right now, huh? Just hugging it out. Okay, let's see. Let's get our crown on. Good. And then this should then be stored inside of our unit. There we go. Uh-oh. This isn't the right thing at all. Oh, shit. What's the one that gives me... <laughs> What's the one I'm looking for then? Oh god, this whole time I thought it was the fucking lady! No! When we had last left the last dragonborn, they had tracked down the last Ethereum shard and, and finally made it to oh, to Bethunzel's aft, aft the fantastic Dwemer ruin from long ago and uh, guess what they found there it was the Ethereum sh forge no less but it was guarded by ancient automata created by the terrible wretched Dwemer yes but it was through their prowess and the prowess of Katria the friendly ghost that they were finally able to make use of the shard key and forge an Ethereum relic unlike any other Katria was quite pleased and felt her work, her duties were accomplished and faded away into the annals of history. And now it was time for the last dragonborn to make use of this amazing treasure. Yes, it would be a glorious time of power leveling. <laughs> this is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Also, this thing was freaking the fuck out. What you saw was like nothing. That pelvic thrust? Oh my god, maybe I'll put something there at the very end or turn it into a short or something. I don't know. It was going fucking buck wild. Just load it in here. Anyway, also, general viewers Silent Echo and Iris VP both wrote in. And of course, thank you to the folks who gave them all likes and all that stuff. Wrote in saying that once again, I've forgotten the, the rule of thumb for Dwemer ingots and all of that, right? Got it sorted out though, right? I've went and cleansed ourselves of all these trash items, put stuff on Karjo, filled up the rest of the inventory with bear pelts, all that good stuff. So now we should be optimal for Dwemer ingots of whatever sort we do desire, right? Let's also here chow down on a leg of goat roast. There we go. But yeah, our, oh God. Jesus, the hell is that? <laughs> Doesn't seem good. You know, way back when, I totally remembered... I th well, I guess I thought I remembered that this place straight up, like, got obliterated or whatever, right? Hmm. Oh, hey, here's one of the good ones. Let's drop a bear pelt while we're at it. Boom. There we go. Trade ya. Let's see, is there anything good over on this side? I skipped over, like, a complete dangus? Nah, no metal. Okay. Cool. Let's head on down. Good, good, good. Get on out of here. But yeah, let's see. We need to hit up. I think first we should hit up, right, the Lady Stone. So we'll have the Lady Stone bound to the hat. And then whenever we want to change something out, all we have to do is just hit up one of the Guardian Stones, huh? Right? We just make, have to make sure we unequip the little Aetherium crown and all that stuff, right? And we should be good. We'll have our 35% XP bonus. All right. So I'm, I'm thinking our plan of action should be that we travel on out over to Falkreath, right? But how do we do that, right? I was wondering. Do we think it's more efficient to go to Riften and then fast travel to Falkreath via horse? Or should we just cut through the mountain? I'm thinking we cut through the mountain, right? And then we can hit up Lakeview Manor and stow away some of our various pieces of junk, right? And if anything, we don't even need to hit up Falkreath technically, right? We could just go on a... Oh, God. Man, this place is just covered in bear pelts now, huh? <laughs> All right, let's head on up. But yeah, I think we hit up Lakeview Manor rather than Falkreath. Stow our junk there, hit up the Lady Stone, and then we'll have our stuff all just contained within our various abodes for when we want to do our big craft off, right? I think that's the plan. Okay, 
Let's do it. Let's head on out there. We are a little bit sleepy. Should we snooze and lose at Iverstead? I think so. Is that a person or... No. It's a tree. <laughs> I thought that this was some guy standing out here. Alright. Let's see. Let's head on over here to... Wait, what is this? Huh. Yeah, what is this? I don't know what that is. Let's do a quick save. Should we look at this Imperial camp as well? It's right over the, uh, the corner here. We can't use it to rest up or anything. My father was a legionnaire. He's before him. I guess I never considered doing anything else. Oh, God. How's the blood just everywhere in here? Are they just, like, puking it up or something? Just projectile vomit blood? All right. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. All right, sure. Can't wait to kill another of Alfred's boys. Yeah, there's nowhere we can really sleep here. That's going to get us fully recharged, right? We could sell some junk like off to the quartermaster. The Empire is what's keeping the Dominion out of Skyrim. Let's see Kajit guards your back. I will shoulder some do of a your quick trade here. Let's see. What do I want to get rid of? Oh, look, he is enjoying the Daedric Sword of Winter now, right? Okay, let's get rid of the Holy Ebony Mace, the regular Ebony Mace. You know what? I probably should have dumped that, right? Eh, what can you do? All right, Lead on, over here. And then, Take a look. let's see, what have you got? A decent amount of money. We can sell off the Daedric Arrows. I don't really have a use for them. There we are. Good. These ebony maces. Oh, shit. Okay. We need to buy some stuff, right? So let's pick up some more metal. Hmm. Get some ore. Should we get some standard-ass ingots or what? Yeah, let's do it. Pick those up. Good. And then let's get rid of this unit right there. Okay, good. Great. Right? Yeah. Great. Okay, Carjo, check this shit out. Can you carry any more? I will shoulder some of your burden. Let's see. If you will, take some of these. Good. Just get our carry weight down here a bit. All these ingots. Lovely. Okay, our carry weight is good to go, but look, Carjo can hold even more somehow. Right? Amazing. Okay, how about these ingots? There you go, Karjo. You full up now? I think he is. Yeah, some of these are grayed out. Okay, good. Lead on. Good shit, Karjo. Okay. Should we just take their horse? I think so. Whoops. They saw me. Okay. Leg it, Karjo! Fucking run! Ooh! Let's go over to this little hut, or whatever it is. Investigate that. There we are. Oh, hey, you know what? They aren't really chasing, are they? Either that or they don't have, like, archers or wizards with them. Fair enough. Okay. You know, you would think that the Empire would have an easier time in skirmishes, right? Because the Empire doesn't have a, super ooh, a superstition against using wizards in combat, right? They would have all these uh, magical battle mages and stuff to help in the war effort, right? But I guess maybe they really are just... just, um... spread that thin that it doesn't work out. Oh, shit. Hang on a sec. Let's see. Let me just make sure I've done this. Because I did set it down. That way I could get a picture of the Forge Master without fucking dying. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Great. Okay. The bear doesn't count. <laughs> there we are. Turn it back up to Legendary. Yeah, I was having difficulty getting pictures of the Forge Master for the thumbnail in between there. Had to turn it down, <laughs> otherwise he would just fucking kill me. Alright. I guess I could have just toggled God Mode on, but eh. I'm dumb. Alright. Over here. Let's see. Alchemist's Shack Discovered. <sighs> something else walking along here. Oh, it's a big Moose Lord or something. Okay, let's check out this little shack. We can carry a few things. Oh, look. Some decent stuff in here. Fire salts and the like. Where's the alchemist at? 
Oh, they've turned into a butterfly. Or a moth, even. Look at all this stuff. Some goodies, for real. Whitecaps. Look at this. What a nice little area. Jeez, can you just live here? What a nice little, like, cottage. How homey. Okay. Grab some fireflies as well. Beautiful. Okay. Apothecary satchel. Oh, alchemist journal. What happened to you, friend? Coming to this area was a brilliant decision. The local flora seemed to have many useful properties that I've been able to utilize into new potions. Outside, the rich soil has allowed the cuttings I've collected to grow into, a f into fine and bountiful plants. This afternoon, I think I will journey out for more mushrooms, as my current supply is beginning to dwindle. On a personal note, I've moved my alchemy work outside the shack. I find the midday air is a boon to my health, as well as inspirational to my work. Oh. Do you think they died? I don't know. Maybe they'll come back and see me picking through all their shit. Okay. I guess they must be dead, right? Because it would say that I'm stealing, huh? Is, is that the best way to know if someone's dead or not? Whether or not it's considered theft when you're messing around with their junk? Look, there's even alchemy shit growing on the stump. Or the... I guess it's not a stump. What would you even call it? The remains of a trunk? Alright. Let's get all this going. Of course, butterfly in a jar. Frost salts. Glow dust. Hmm? Bunch of food. Ooh, take it easy, Karjo. Take it easy. More shroomages. Is there any other little, like, secret cellar door or anything? Or is it just... It might just really be a peaceful little alchemy shack. I love this. God, what a wonderful life to have out here. Except for the f part where they, like, died or something, huh? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. What a serene little area. I love it. Okay, except for, like I, like I said, the part where we're probably going to one day find them dead somewhere. And be like, weird, why is there a dead alchemist in here? Huh. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, got some pissed off wolves. As per use. There we are. Let's get a battle axe back out at the ready. Boom. Gotcha. Alright. If you've got a wolf pelt, I guess I'll take it. Blast them there if we can. Look, there's some folks on the road, just as well. Yep. There we are. We do need to eat, but we'll maybe pull, put it off until we have, like, a uh, more pressing matter, right? In case we overeat a bit. Let's get the goat. Who's this? Oh, Vigilance. Let's see, what all do you have? Hmm. Could take these. Ooh, plentiful. Never uh oh. Should have come uh oh. Karjo, run! Karjo, run! They saw me! They they noticed me taking their plentiful potions. Hang on, I'm grabbing some snowberries as well. Alright. Whirlwind sprint time. Uh -oh. You'll never catch nah. me! I'm eating a salmon steak as well on the go. Alright. That's right, Vigilant of Stendar. Sorry to dine and dash. Hoo 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 hoo. <laughs> That's my fun laugh. Do you like that? <laughs> Let's go on up here. Man, this is like the vamp zone from earlier, huh? I think so. Or is this where we went with Barbus? W yeah, yeah. But also the vamp zone as well, right? Just different vamps than what I was thinking. Oh, hey, who is this? Hey, who is this? Who are you? Please stay away while you got that spell on you. I don't have a spell on me, do I? Do you mean like a disease or something? What do you have for sale? Take a look. Oh. Let's see. Eh, nothing really worthwhile. Okay. And nothing to eat. It's not cooked up. Mm hmm. Let's see. Oh, shit. I'll try and take some of this. Oh my god. Look at that. Okay. Guess what this is? 
This is a... Oh, shit. He's got a sweet roll on him. I'm gonna eat it right out of his pocket. Delightful. Okay. And then we're gonna... Wow! I, I managed to take the ring? It was like, what? A 13, 17% chance to steal it? Holy shit. Okay. What else should I take? I want to get caught. Let's take some picks. I need them. How about... I don't know. Food. I'm just taking everything from this guy. The fuck's going on? Can I just take everything? I'm never gonna be stopped. He's never gonna figure it. Oh, I saw there you we do go. That, you know. Yeah, I did it. Hang on, come back. You're not gonna dismount or anything? He's not gonna dismount. Oh shit! All right. Well, I need that horse. Yeah! Horse jacking. Oh shit! What's the horse doing? Oh, it's trying to kill me. Oh! This isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I wanted at all! Yeah. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Jeez! Alright. <laughs> okay, okay, we can we can handle this. We can handle this. We just gotta escape the hunter. If the horse stays on us, it's fine. It's fine. Let's see. We have some sort of, like, illusion magic to calm it. Yeah, look. Oh, beautiful. Calm. Okay. Be peace, horse. There we go. And now it's mine. <laughs> there we go. What will happen if, if this spell wears off while I'm riding it? Nothing's gonna happen, right? Nothing's gonna happen. Oh shit, was that a person? No, that was a, a signpost. <laughs> Gosh, I'm like tripping balls out here. I'm thinking everything's a person. Alright, I'm sure Karja was just fine. He's probably, you know, wiped out the entire Imperial camp back there. Good lord. Alright. Oh shit. Hey, there goes our shit. Do you think he'll be mad at me as soon as I get off of it? Or what? Hmm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Surprise it's not trying to like buck me off or whatever. Okay. Let's see. Let's go on over to our little place. Here, let's put a marker down just as well. Lakeview Manor. Jeez. It's a shame that I can't set destinations right on top of places because I try to fast travel, right? Jeez, is, can I like shift click or control click? No. Oh look, if you right click, you instantly go to your custom destination. That's, that's cool. Okay. Let's see, can I? No, nothing. Okay. Well, let's move it right there, I guess. That's close enough. That'll have to do. Going through Helgen again. We've gone through Helgen quite a few times. I guess that's part of uh, what was good about Helgen back in the day or whatever, when it wasn't completely obliterated, right? Turned into cinders and all that. It was a good, um, what would you call it? Interstate town or whatever? You get a lot of foot traffic in the area, right? A lot of trader folks going through. Okay. Over here. Very well, down this way. Alright. We'll just go along this. This ain't even my horse, so you know what? Hey. Whatever happens, happens. Oh shit. I still feel kind of bad about it, though. Alright. Good. Some sort of power wolf coming out, displaying its power. That's okay. That's fine. It can't catch me. I'm on a horse. Wow, it's like catching. Oh, God! Jeez! Okay. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Man, they actually hit me. What are the chances of that? Fucking super sniper. Alright. Let's see. Let's remove our unit here. There we go. It should be up here on the right. Yeah, there it is. Our little icon on the dude dar up top. Good. Like view manor. And I'm assuming as soon as we phase into the manor itself, Karjo will materialize, right? Fingers crossed. Okay, here we are. Beautiful. Oh my god, there's a troll attack! What the fuck?! Oh, jeez! Okay. Oh god, and bandits! Bandits and trolls are attacking! Holy shit! Good lord! Oh, is that Ilya? That I hear? Like, ready to rumble? There we go. Oh, shit. 
Man, this troll is like really fucking tough. All right, here, we need to equip our, our good stuff for using two-handers, right? I totally forgot. Okay, it's gold stuff, right? Gold necklace, gold ring, and then this steel equipment here. Good. All right. There we are, we're getting it. Let's see, do I have any, like, two-hander potions or whatever? What would that even be of the Berserker, right? Burr? How about, is it Warrior, maybe? No, Warrior is one-handed. Okay. Fair enough. We're getting it, though. Slowly but surely. Good. Another bandit marauder over there. Man, do people just, like, straight-up attack your shit? Like I said before, I've never really messed around with Hearthfire, because I, I just didn't own it. There we go. Okay. There we are. Oh. Good. You'll make a fine rock, cat. Almost gotcha. Cool. Oh shit. God, what is that? Is that another troll? Got him. Okay, let's circle around the back here. Good. What are we looking at here? Wow, yeah, there are a bunch. And who is this man? Bandit Chief. Look, he's like wearing a Daedric helmet. Oh my god. Do you just occasionally get attacked and shit? I don't know. Either way, this is this is like great for me. Good XP. Well, it would be if I could hit anybody. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Am I getting hits? I'm not sure. I don't think I am. Here, let's dismount. It's fine. All right. Good. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> as soon as I dismount, the fucking guy turns around and just smacks my butt into the fucking dirt. Jeez. Oh my god, we're way back here! Where the fuck even am I? Oh! Oh, what a nightmare! Oh my god, alright. What a fresh fucking hell. <laughs> Jeez! Alright, hopefully we can find a horse again. Let's see, let's take their shit. There we are. Mercy of Stendar. Yep, Mercy of Stendar. Does not extend to... Uh-huh. Yep. Adra worshippers. I believe it. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on out of here. God, I hope we find that horse man again. Ooh, I hope we find him. Okay. Let's see. No, I think this is where we found him before. I think the horse man is long gone. We're gonna have to leg it. Oh, man. <laughs> that fucking chieftain! Jeez, what a man! What a guy! Fuck me. <laughs> Good lord. We always have to walk through this, like, hell area, don't we? Jeez. That's what I get. <gasps> no way! We've been hashtag blessed in a major way. Alright. Let's see. Maybe I can get them now. Let's see. I'll take your stuff. There we are. Take some of that. I saw oh, you God. do that, you know. Yeah, it's how you do that, you know. Okay, well, well, take a look at this. Look at this! There we go. Did I hurt the horse? I did not. I aimed it just right. <laughs> See ya, asshole! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Good lord. Perfect. Alright. I couldn't ask for anything better. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Look, we don't even need to worry about a calm spell now. Now, the real question is, are we still going to be under attack at our little village? At our little Lakeview Manor? What the hell's going to happen there? Maybe we'll be under attack by something else, right? Like, it's guaranteed that we're under attack, just... The question is, by what? Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you know what would be cool? Do the... Assuming that is what it looks like, right? That the area is attacked by whoever the hell, right? By some sort of ne'er-do-well. 
Does it change depending on what house you're at? At what, like, homestead it is? Does it change depending... Because, you know, they're in very different biomes and all that, right? Is one more likely to have, like, Oh no, the Charis came out because we live in the Charis swamps. Vampires are attacking because there's a massive den of vampires nearby, right? And over here we get, like, forest trolls or, like, bears or something. And the other place you get, like, frost trolls or ice raids. Or horkers. A bunch of wild, rabid horkers. Good lord. How fun. Okay. Look, this isn't so bad. We've been through worse. I've been through worse. <laughs> I don't think I've had an issue yet where I I played Skyrim for an hour and was talking and everything, but forgot to press record. I don't think I've had that had that issue yet. I think I've learned my lesson. But certainly during the Oblivion and Morrowind playthroughs. That is a reality that I've had to deal with. <laughs> Nothing is worse for your morale than that. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's bring this up. Yep, we're heading in the right direction. Let's do a quick save now. There we go. Yeah, for once I wasn't quick saving left and right, huh? Oh, you know what? Let's also make sure. Let's see. What? Okay, there we go. Good. I wasn't sure if that was before or after the... The issue that we had. Oh no, yeah, we're not under- Oh, we are. Okay. We're totally under attack. Oh shit, it's spider lords. Who's this guy? Oh, bandits again. Okay. I see. Let's see. Let us get our gold equipment equipped. There we go. Do some bonus damage here. Lovely. Okay. Shit, the fucking horse. Oh my god, he came from behind! Jeez! The bandit chief is like such a fucking threat and a half, huh? Okay. Let's see. Let's get on up in here. Look, this time we we had the foresight to, to quick save, right? Okay. Here we go. Oh, look at that spider lords blasting their shit everywhere, huh? Okay. Let's see Get this going on and then gold good these cool and then let's get unrelenting force on them beautiful love it okay we're a little bit over encumbered though however let's see let's drop wolf pelts i guess it won't be enough though hmm what do i have that's really just weighing me down right now Let's see, this vamp armor. Yeah, let's drop one. If we lose it, we lose it. Okay, good time to save. Wipe out these spider lords. If they don't wipe me out first. With their sick ass poisons. Oh god. Oh god, there's a battle crab here as well. <laughs> hey man, how's it going up here? Going pretty good? Yeah? Cool. <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> let's get some poison resist, maybe. All right. Yeah, that seems good. It hurts me, but not really. Okay. Battle axe at the ready. Good. There we are. Cool. Wipe out the outlaw. Lovely. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's see. Get some magic going on. Whoop! Hey, who is this? Are you also a bandit? Yep, you are. Okay, that's fine though. Yo, are they gonna come inside our place? Oh, fuck. Alright. Let's take some of these healing potions that we picked up, huh? Oh, jeez. Alright. Then, over here. I think he's worn out. Okay, unrelenting force. Good. Shove you into that shit. Ugh. You won't get the best of me. Ugh. 
Oh shit! Oh god! Oh, I saw it coming from a mile away as well. Alright. We can do it, we can do it. Oh shit, we're not on top of our- Oh shit! Okay, do we have charge on this? No, we do not. Alright. Oh look, getting hit fixed our little bug. Cool. Heal up. I'm not! I'm really not! Oh shit. Good. Alright. Get you. Oh fuck. No, I'm not! Ooh. Here we are. Get you, and then... Let's get the axe. Quick save as well. Let's rip into him here a bit if we can. Oh, shit! No! Fuck! <laughs> oh, he was trying to do it to Karjo as well. Oh, God. Alright. We can do it. We can do it. Let's see. Let's re-equip that, fix our problem. Good. Okay. This fucking archer man is also, like, a problem, huh? Jesus! Yeah, he's a real fucking problem. I don't even- I can't even see him, either. Alright. Let's get some vigorous magicka. Just some magicka magicka. Please don't snipe me! Alright. Good. There you are. I see ya. Okay. Let's get some more magicka in us. Cool. There we are. Alright. I realized what our problem is as well. Why we're taking so much more fizz damage. It's because of the hat. Right? We're not wearing a matching set. So we've lost out on some of our bonus armor. Jesus Christ. There you go. Eat a butt. Please. Let's chow down on a veg soup. There we are. Lovely. Oh shit. Is this prior Mabel? No. It's wild ass horse. Okay. There we go. Good. Let's do a quick save just for good measure. Just in case he like whips around and just smacks my whole ass. There we are. Good. Oh. Beautiful. Okay. Should we take his shit? I don't know. Probably just leave it there, right? Good lord, man. Let's see. Inventory? Yeah, we can pick this up fine. Alright. That was some fucking shonky business, huh? <laughs> Still, we made it. Alright. Let's head on up and over here. We need to check these bods, don't we? Got some ale. I'll eat, drink it. Let's see, where's our other dude? Is it you? Yeah. Good. Alright. Cool. Well, I mean, it could have been worse, I guess. You know what? Hey, here's our secret little method. Right? Let's just move his bod over there, huh? Let's see, if I do this... Oh, shit. My hand is, is stronger. Shazbot. Okay. Let's see if we do this, though. Good. And then, we can just, well... <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to drag his body like fucking Agent 47. Alright. There we are. Because I was thinking, hey, we could just deposit him right next to the treasure chest and then stow all of his cool armor inside. There we go, look. That's alright. Cool. Okay. Let's suck up all this shit. Why not? And we'll just toss it inside of here, along with the rest. Okay, like all these bolts, this shit. If anything, we could use this to outfit Ilya, right? She's the one who chills out here. Let's see. Helmet of Alteration, don't want that. These circlets, there we go. 
Okay, encumbrance is looking good now. Dump that in there. Let's sort by weight. Stick all these inside. Beautiful. Okay, and then Carjo. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Let's grab your junk. I will shoulder some of your burden. There we are. Let's take all these. Yeah, let's just take all of this from Carjo. There we are. We can stow it in our fun chest. Good. Okay. Hmm. Let's actually take Dragon Bane. That way he doesn't accidentally, like, get disarmed and drops it somewhere where we'll never find it. All this junk will stow away as well. Good. Okay. Lead on. Good friend. job, Car Show. And then let us deposit this inside. Right there. Oops. Accidentally taking. Good. And let's sort by weight. Hmm. Did that do us any favors? I think that may have actually just been extremely cursed. Here we go, yeah. Okay. Robes, regular gloves. Yeah. Over here. Let's sort by weight. Dump these inside. Lovely. Okay. Good. Alright. And then all of the alchemy shit. Okay. Let's sort by name, because I do kind of want to avoid stashing my salt. There we go. Do I even have any salt? I've got two. If it happens, it happens. There we go. Cool. Alright. Fantastic. Let's see. Ilya still lives here, right? <laughs> what was she even doing? Snoozing or what? Jeez. Does she live here? I thought we assigned her to chill out here, alright? What do you need, my friend? <laughs> Jeez. Ilya's just fucking retired in a major way. She she's been through it all. She doesn't give a shit if the fucking bandits come and take over. Right? She's like that old lady inside that fort, right? Okay, let's rest for eh, six hours. That way it'll be eight AM. And then we'll hit up the stones, right? Hit up those sweet, sweet stones. Cool. Okay, and then... Do I... Am I, like, ailed by some sort of weird, terrible thing? No, I'm fine. Okay. Let's get on out of here. And we'll haul ass over to... The Lady Stone. Yeah, right over there. Okay. Let's see. Is it showing up on our map right now? It extremely is not. Okay. Well, that sucks. Let's see. Should be able to... There we are. That'll do. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Make sure I do have the crown on me, right? Ethereal crown. Good. And then we'll suck up the Lady Stone's power into that. Because the Lady Stone just gives you a flatline increase to XP from every source possible. Right? It's not as powerful as the directed... Whatever. I think it's short by, like, what, 5-10%? Compared to the three different guardian stones? Oh, shit. Looks like a ton of birds. Okay. Let's see. Something on the road here. It's a little rat lord. Yeah! God. Yeah! <laughs> Weapon takes, like, a million years. Rip off its tail. Heal it up. Cool. Can do some of this as well. Look at that. Get ahead of the game. Good. Oh shit, we got a level, huh? <laughs> ah, great! Okay. Got some clay over here. Oh look, someone lives out here. Look, the fire's roaring. Have I ever investigated this? Who's out here? Who lives on this scenic lake area? Fishers. Oh hey, fishermen. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Yarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Sure, but who's eating it then? I don't know. Alright. Let's see, a bunch of salmon we could grab. Can we cook here? No, not really. He's just chilling out here. Look at this. 
I mean, honestly, the way that they they say it, the hunters say like, oh, it's not like my poaching could hurt anyone. That makes it seem like it is, right? Like, if they didn't say that, I wouldn't question it at all. I'd be like, yeah, look, we're in, like, fucking Elder Scrolls land where shit's magical. It seems like there's plenty of, like, wildlife and stuff. You're helping people not starve who live out in the middle of nowhere, probably have to wait forever to get food, right? It's a good thing that you're doing. But when he says it like that, he's like, that's not hurting anyone, is it? I'm like, I don't know, is it? <laughs> you tell me, now, now that you say that, maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go look over here. Let's see. Whirlwind sprint over to the stone. There it is. Oh, look. Some sort of fish? Okay, can I... Nah! Did I even... I barely moved at all. I should have done from on top of the rock, huh? Can you, like, speed swim or what? No. Okay, but we can go down here and grab some fishes. Look at that. Maybe the Dragonborn has some sort of innate power that makes fish not detect them, right? So you can just sneak right up on fish and just grab them right out of the water somehow. Stuff them into your pocket. Kind of amazing. <laughs> Alright. There we are. It's one of the unlisted perks of being Dragonborn. Fish just think that you're, like, not even there. Alright. Here we are. Good. Okay. Good. Oh shit. It's a slaughterfish. Okay. Should we wipe it out here? <gasps> did I get it? Oh, I did. Grabbed your scales. <gasps> slaughterfish, not very powerful this time around, huh? Kind of rare, though. Okay. Look at this car, Joe. <gasps> Boom. Listen to the, like, did you hear the water sound effects as well of the slaughterfish swimming around, like, by the surface? You know what it sounded like to, like to me? Um, like, Laura Croft in the early, very early Tomb Raider games swimming around, right? It sounded like early Tomb Raider water effects. I don't know, they probably got them out of, like, the same SFX library or whatever. And they just figured, yeah, it's a rarity, right? What are the chances anyone's got to hear this? Okay. And if they do, I mean, who really cares, right? Alright, look at this. I love that it's like, the Lady Stone. It's just kind of like, in a hug right now, huh? Just hugging it out. Okay, let's see. Let's get our crown on. Good. And then, this should then be stored inside of our unit. There we go. Uh-oh! This isn't the right thing at all! Oh shit, what's the one that gives me- <laughs> What's the one I'm looking for then? Oh god, this whole time I thought it was the fucking lady! No! Oh no, what is it? What's the one that gives me the XP? Is it the Lord? Is it the Lord Stone? Out here? Is it the Lord? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh no, we're completely fucked. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, Karja, we're fucked so bad. All right, fuck it. I'm, I'm putting it in there. Why not? Okay. <laughs> oh god. All right, our carry weight has gone down a bit, right? Let's see. So now that should be in there, right? Let's just make sure we know what the hell we're even doing. Okay. Yeah, the steed stone, it's still inside. So then, if we unequip this, our carry weight should go down 50. Right? Refresh. Yeah, went down 50. Good. Okay. Sure. Well, that's really not what we wanted at all, but... <laughs> oh, that figures, huh? It must be the lord stone, right? That's gotta be it. Okay, let's get on the hell out of here. What's our fastest route? Look at that. Is that from, like, a boat? Or did someone... Was there once, like, a, um... A bridge that took you all the way out here? Nah! Oh my god, it is from a boat! Okay. Have we been in this boat before? Maybe we have. 
now that I think of it. Maybe we have. Okay. Yeah, we totally have. Haven't we? I don't know. We've been through a few boats now, so who can say? What have you got? Eight Quatloos. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Whew. Let's see. Anything good in here? Barnacles and clams. Okay. Maybe there is. Let's do a quick save real fast. I saw something on the ground here, but it may have just been... Oh, it's a dwarven battle axe. Okay. Neat. Not that I really need it, though, huh? Okay. Let's get up and out. Let's see. So we need to go over to... Let's go to Helljarchen Hall from Lakeview, right? Can we do that? I'm not sure if we can do that. At the very least, we can go to Whiterun. Go on up there. Good. What's out here? Bone wolves or what? Skeletal dudes. Okay. Just roaming the overworld. How bizarre. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah. They're usually kept inside of dungeons. Oh, shit. I was slow there. Okay. We should probably chow down on apple pie. Why not? Delicious. Okay. You know what? In real life, I enjoy an apple pie, but I feel like... It's easy to mess it up, right? I feel like there's a lot of bad apple pies that are just a little too, like, mushy-gushy for me. I don't know. I like it to have a little bit of a crisp or even a crunch to it in some cases, right? <laughs> Jeez. What the fuck is going on here with these fucking wolves, huh? Good lord. Pit wolves. Okay. Let's get the hell out of there. Heal on up real quick. Oh shit, a bouncer. What? Small note. Oh god, look, I've accidentally looted it without reading it. Let's see, small note. Gosh, we are just carrying around. Oh, we're going through everything, aren't we? Yeah. Over here. Small note. There. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Okay, read it this time. Adriel, I need you to go out and find the missing pit wolves before the next tournament. We lost too many during the last fights, and we won't be able to train new ones in time. Find them, and bring them back to Crags Lane at once. We've been to Crags Lane, though, haven't we? Okay. Huh, so this is where they, like, sourced them, right? Good job tracking down that wolf there, Karjo. You're doing great. Look, something tracked it down. Guess it's all clear now. Oh, it's a hunter dude. Okay. Ice wolf. I see. Okay. Hey, man. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. All right, all right. Good to know. <laughs> Let's get on out of here. Let's see. Where is Lakeview? Right over here. Cool. Gosh, Lakeview is just amazing, isn't it? I don't even normally walk along this path, but maybe now we will, right? Now that we've got our, like, prime abode, our prime house right over here. Okay. There we go. And up here. Hey, Ilya, chopping some wood, huh? Good. Okay. And then, dude, please get me the go? hell out of here. Take me to... Can we actually go to Helljarchen? Or whatever it is? Hmm. If this is alphabetized, the answer is no. Is there anything else, though, up there? That we could maybe use to get us closer? Hall of the Vigilant? Nah. Morthal? Nah. Our best bet is Whiterun, isn't it? Okay. Until next time. We'll hit up Whiterun and run the rest of the way. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Dude, is it the Lord, though? All right. Is the Lord even the one I'm looking for, or is the Lord the one that increases your other shit? <laughs> what if it's uh, the steed or some shit? Which one am I even looking for? The tower? The serpent? Good God. The shadow. No, it's definitely not the shadow. Is it the Lord? 
Or is it like The Apprentice? Ooh, could it be The Apprentice? Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, God. No, it's not the lady. It's the lover. It's the lover. Have we found the lover yet? Oh, shit. Let's see. Find location. Stone. There, we found it. Somehow. Okay. How do I use this? Go down here. Oh, shit, it's out by Markarth. It's the lover, right? The Lord gives you, like, armor and magic and resist, huh? Oh, my God. Whew, we almost made a big mistake, didn't we? Where do you want All to right, go? let's go on out over there to Markarth. Wait, hang on. Is there actually something closer? Oh, Karth Waston might be. Right? It depends. What do we think has easier access? I'm thinking maybe Karth Waston does. You know, I'm thinking maybe Karth Waston does. But that said, maybe I just want to go to Karth Waston. Right? Let's go to Mark Karth. Good day. Against our better judgment. There we go. Well, I'm in back and we'll be off. Good. Let's roll. Boom! Met one of <laughs> we almost did it again. We almost went all the way up there for the Lordstone to get some hole. other shit. See, when I when I hear Lordstone, I think, ooh, makes you weaker to fire, and you get a heal or something, right? I'm still like in the Morrowind mindset. What did it do in Oblivion? Who even knows? No one knows. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's eat a little bit of food here. Should I eat some of this mammoth cheese? I hope so, because I'm doing it. How about... Rabbit haunches. We sure have enough, don't we? Or pheasant roasts. They're slightly heavier. There we go. That should be good. Alright. Wonderful. Now, let's go on up and over to the Lover's Stone. The Lover's Stone. Now, that's... That's definitely it, right? That's definitely it. There we go. Good, good, good. Jeez, all this talk of, you know, looking around for something that I don't even know what I'm looking for, going around to different places I'm not even supposed to be at, roaming around the countryside, and slaughterfish. Reminds me of when, in Oblivion when I was swimming around looking for whatever the hell in Lake Rumare, or Rumare, however you mind. All right. Up and over this way. Good, good, good. See, normally, <laughs> this would not be as much of an issue if we had our fast travel. It would just be like, oh, no, that's not the right one. Okay, Lordstone. Zoop. Warp right there. Oh, no, the Lordstone's not it? Oh, okay, it must be the other L. Lover. Okay. <laughs> Good God. Could you imagine we get to the Lover Stone and it's actually the one that gives you the magic of resist? Whoo, no. That's bad. Really going to regret not having checked my phone in the middle of a video? That one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over here. Let's see. We're almost there already. Beautiful. And we are wearing our appropriate item, right? Ooh, look. Oh, gosh, look. This one also has, like, a cool little look. Right? Neat. Okay. Let's see. Ethereal crown equipped. Good. And then... We want... Here, just... Just for the sake of understanding this, right? Let's do a quick save. And if we unequip this, the steed will stay in it, right? All skills improve faster, right? So there we go. Lady Stone is gone. Lover Stone is in. It's the new hotness. Okay. So our carry weight is down to 414. And then... Ah, yeah, it's stored it. Okay. But we want to do this. We want a quick load... And then, make sure we have the hat on, right? There. Good. Okay. Accept the sign. Cool. And I guess we didn't really need to do that, though, huh? We technically didn't need any of that shit. Okay. Fair enough. Let's get on back on our horse, back on Prior Mabel, head on back to Markarth, and then... <laughs> we'll go over to, uh... What do you call it, land? Okay. Let's see. Let's get rid of this. 
There we are. Cool. And, oh shit. Oh shit. Treacherous. Good thing the traction on Prior Mabel is just like through the roof. Okay, good. Let's see, over here, on the right, good. We'll go over here, pick up the, what do we want? We want the the combat one, right? The combat skills, the warrior. That way we, we can increase our blacksmithing and all that, because we have to blacksmith up a whole bunch of junk for our little abode. Okay, and then, Let's see, we can't immediately go to, like, Riverwood or whatever, can we? We have to actually go to Whiterun. <laughs> Shit. Alright. It's fine, it's fine. It's all good. You know what? It's not a problem. We love doing this. Look, it's a serene moment. Friar Mabel's mane is, like, tussling, tussling, tufting, wisping, fluffing in the wind. It's great. Mine as well, maybe. Maybe in Elder Scrolls 6, my hair will have hair physics. Who Traveling can say? in the Reach is dangerous. City of Markarth, sure is a beauty. Where do you want to go? I'd love to go to... Whiterun it is. Climb and back, and we'll be off. There we go. Good. So there once was a hero named now the real question is, should we make a pit stop inside... Oh shit. <laughs> inside of Whiterun to do a little quick rest. Hmm. I don't know. I think we can make it. I think we can make it. Look, it's not too far. Here we go. Let's just chow down on a little something something, though. Pheasant roast. Chicken breast. Good. Well, no, we're still a little bit hungry. Cooked beef. Okay, good. I'm assuming Prior Mabel, like, heals up, right? Whenever we travel around with a carriage or whatnot, right? Makes sense. Okay, up and over here. Good, and then whenever we want to swap our XP bonus, right? All we need to do is just unequip our hat, right? Because our hat will now have stored the lover, and then we just swap to one of the other three, right? Whenever we want to, like, decide that we're power leveling down one route or the other, right? We could also use this, um, that way we can get our heavy armor up. Because what's our heavy armor at currently? It's not maxed out. It's only like, yeah, 77. Yeah, we still have a ways to go. So we'll do that. One of the things I'm kind of dreading is trying to get light armor up? I don't know. It's going to be problematic, I think. We'll see, though. Yeah, by then maybe we'll be able to fall back on perks. Thanks to having just leveled through blacksmithing and especially alchemy just like a million bazillion times. All right, up over here. Yep, they're Someone doing their do little something. thing. Someone do something. Oh no. <laughs> Where are you all taking them to Helgen? Ooh, don't go there. It's already gone. Oh shit. Power wolves. Oh god, maybe that's what they were talking about. Vicious ass power wolves out here doing their power moves, trying to just bite my whole ass. Let's see. Let's get our battle axe here at the ready. Just in case. Yep. Do a quick U-turn. Then. Oh, look. Oh, you're running away now, huh? Boom. Gotcha. And then. There we go. Sorry, Karja. You can't ride on the back. <laughs> Despite the fact that this horse is built like a fucking Mack truck. <laughs> okay. Stow this way. Good. Okay. Here's a question. Do you think after Red Dead Redemption 2, do you think more games start to have, like, horse dicks in them? What do you think? You know, because that was one of the big, uh, things people were, like, raving about when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out. People were like, Oh my god, these horse horses have giant cock and balls, and they change depending on the weather and stuff. Everyone was like, oh my god, can you believe Rockstar made their employees work for two months overtime just to get the cock and balls right? <laughs> Do you think we, we see more games like that? I don't know if we see, see like, some horse balls and stuff in Elder Scrolls 6, right? I think they'll leave that to the modders. All right. 
I'm assuming that such mods already exist for Skyrim as well, right? <laughs> if anything, Skyrim probably, thanks to the modding scene, had horse cock and balls before anything else, right? They were the pioneers in the horse cock. I don't know. <laughs> in the horse cock race. All right, here we go. Our fantastic little set of three, lovely. I forget, isn't there like a random event where sometimes you'll come over to these or to one of the standing stones and there'll be someone there like doing something with them? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Okay, let's see. Let's do a quick save in case we mess it up. All right, and I want the warrior. Okay, just as we did at the very beginning of the playthrough, huh? Okay. Loverstone removed, added, everything is being removed and added. It should be fine, though. Let's see. Let's just check our effects. Okay. Yeah, lover and warrior. 35%. Whew, a hefty chunk. Okay, I'm not sure if it stacks with... with, like, well-rested or whatever the, the hell, right? I'm not sure if that's the case. It may. It may well do that. But I want to say that maybe that was... It was either a bug that it didn't work that way, or that it did work that way, right? And I want to say that maybe there is a chance that the unofficial patch or whatever fixes that. So there's a lot of ifs and ands and buts, right? Oh shit. Of course, a fucking bear. It depends on whether or not, like, which direction it was bugged, whether or not the unofficial patch that I've got installed fixes that bug. Either way, 35%, when we're going to be power leveling as much as we're going to with alchemy, it's going to make a huge difference. And blacksmithing as well. All right, holy shit. <laughs> a lot of clerical work this time, huh? Just going around getting shit done. But you know what? Every so often, we have to do that, right? And this will probably be uh, such a big point of contention for our progress and just becoming super powered, right? Very important, I think, getting all this shit done. And also, it means, hey, we can finally just, like, have free reign over upgrading all of our stuff at our homestead, right? Because that was one of the big things we're putting off is making these upgrades because we didn't want to spend all of our iron and get levels that weren't making us have any progress. Or not get levels, I should say, after all the crafting, right? I'm Part of me is wondering if we'll see a specific, like, homesteading stat or skill in Elder Scrolls 6. No, nah, maybe not. They'll probably just divvy them out like they have currently. Just different stats cover the same shit, right? Yeah, I could see that being the case. More, more skills, though, please. Everyone loves the skills. We all love skills. More of them, please. <laughs> all right. Cool. Well, when next we come back... We'll have done a whole bunch of smithing, right? Holy shit, who knows what level we'll be by then. Let's see, let's see what we are right now. We're 61 on the verge of 62. As soon as we snooze, uh, we'll have a one rare to go, right? We'll, we'll see how just how many we can get, because we've got quite a few bits of ore and stuff that we can smelt down all over the world, right? In our various abodes. In our two manors that we've built up. I don't know if we have much in the third one, right? the last one that we got, but certainly we've got a lot in Honeyside and Breeze Home, right? So, hey, in between vids, we'll get all that shit done. Okay, good plan? Great plan, I think so. Until next time, please take care of each other. What the fuck? <laughs>